Today I'm breaking down why Iraq's revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, IQD, is far more likely to be around 76 cents, not the hyped up $3.22 everyone talks about. And why even if they do $3.22, it might not mean what you think. Let's get into the real numbers, the economics, and a possible twist that could catch a lot of people off guard. Point 1. The Forex Market Shock If Iraq suddenly jumped to $3.22 per dinar, the Forex chaos would be unimaginable. Millions of investors and banks would rush to swap dinars for dollars. Even giants like JP Morgan, Chase, and Citibank would struggle to handle the liquidity pressure. Speculators would immediately short the dinar, betting it would crash back down, just like what happened to the Indian rupee during past currency attacks. At 76 cents, though, it's a smart number. High enough to stabilize Iraq's economy and reward investors, but low enough to prevent Forex market meltdown. Point two, Iraq's economic reality. Let's talk facts. Saudi Arabia produces twice as much oil as Iraq. They have 144% more gold reserves, stronger non-oil revenues, more natural resources, and more political stability. Yet their currency, the Saudi Rial, is only worth zero US dollars and 26 cents. If Saudi Arabia can't justify a $3 plus currency, why would Iraq be able to right now? Kuwait is the exception because their money supply is tiny, just around $45 billion, and they have extreme financial discipline. Iraq's current circulation is about $100 trillion IQD, making a $3.22 rate almost impossible without massive restructuring. Another thing people miss when comparing Iraq and Kuwait is population size versus GDP strength. Sure, Iraq's GDP is about 50% bigger than Kuwait's, but Iraq also has 10x the population. When you break it down, Iraq's GDP is about 586,667% of its citizen number. Kuwait's GDP is about 3,596,555% of its citizen number. In simple terms, Kuwait generates far more economic output per citizen. They have half Iraq's GDP, but only 10% of Iraq's population. This is why Kuwait can afford strong infrastructure, stable social programs, and maintain a $3 plus currency. Iraq, on the other hand, would need a massive increase in revenue efficiency to match that level. Higher numbers don't mean better. Economic efficiency and low corruption are the real factors that make a currency strong. Kuwait's smaller, wealthier population, combined with good governance, is exactly why they have a $3.24 dinar, while Iraq isn't there yet. Point three, circulation problems. Right now, Iraq has around 100 trillion IQD in circulation. If Iraq revalued to $3.22, their total money supply value would instantly balloon to over 322 trillion US dollars. That's completely unsustainable. It would crush their economy with inflation, destroy exports, and break their banking system. At 76 cents, Iraq can manage it smartly. It would allow for investor cashouts without crashing the system. And over time, Iraq could strengthen further. Point four, deletion of zeros. Iraq's central bank has already talked about deleting three zeros. This means a redenomination, not just a magical revaluation. It's a controlled restructuring of the currency to make it more competitive and respected globally. Deleting zeros changes the face value, but keeps purchasing power stable, preventing sudden inflation or wealth shocks. New point five, what if they actually do $3.22? Digital only theory. Now, here's a twist nobody talks about. Even if Iraq does announce a $3.22 rate, it might only apply digitally inside Iraq's financial system, meaning bank accounts, domestic transactions, Iraqi businesses, government sectors, would use the new $3.22 value for digital dinars. Physical IQD notes, the cash held by foreign investors, would most likely still be treated at the old exchange rate, around 1,310 IQD equals one US dollar. If you're holding physical dinar outside Iraq, you might be forced to cash it in at the old rate, not the $3.22 you were hoping for. This would allow Iraq to protect their economy from a flood of external cash outs, control inflation, keep the forex markets calm, and reward their own citizens and banking system first. Understanding the real mechanics is what separates real investors from dreamers. Smart investing means planning for reality, not just hoping for hype. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more real world financial breakdowns. And remember, stay smart, stay patient.